just sending it. That he wasn't here, so she said to give it to you. Okay? Ciao. Oh, here he is. Mr. Cleese is here, so we're going to... Carolyn Greco. Carolyn Greco. Can I start the rec... I will start the recording right now. How are you, sir? Please, how are you? Good to see you. You too. Thank you. Oh, listen, it's my pleasure. Yeah. Give me a moment. Yes, we just had a great chat about uh, protocol, about how intimidating the MPPs are. <laughs> how, uh, how I don't, I don't fit. I, I don't fit uh, her vision. No, I think but... you have a whole lot to write. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually from Cleveland as well. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Plenty of time to be integrated and familiar with the... But your politics just confuses me. I understand. By the way, it confuses a lot of us. <laughs> 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 Hi, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good to see you. Andrew, how are you? Very good, thank you very much. Good to uh, meet you. Good to meet you too. And uh, you've had a good summer? Yeah, Great. excellent, excellent. Good. Thank you very good. much. Thank you very much. Great to be here. Mr. Cleese, how are you? Pleasure to meet you. Good. Hi, George. Nice to see you. Yes. Hi, how are you? Great, how are you? Patricia, very nice to meet you. You're, you're the one who keeps everything organized. That's right. <laughs> That'd be great. I'm looking forward to this. Never been here. Back then.
the right is the Corio section. nationality are you, they would say Deutsch. But of course in the American sense of a group of Germanic people who have been labeled as Dutch. And the truth is they are German. So would the, would the question on Latin Americans in particular, I think there were two questions. One was are you Latin American? And a lot of people wanted to identify themselves in these countries. So if you're from right. Brazil, they were looking at more Mexico. And the other question was, what nation are you going to be? Right? So if someone had just been in the citizenship and had been for years, what are you saying? What are you saying? Okay. Right. So, so this is what I'm So there's a mis mystery question. Hello, Mark. Could you switch board, please? This is one of our publications in Bonn, actually. Uh, that someone who wrote this show is on the board. Well, what it does is it will open this up. Exactly. And then it will run over to the polygon. No, I don't. 
scene and then it turns it off and then create a terminal. So I have a question for you. Is this on the bundle Not this one. This was possibly this guy. This is this is my favorite.
targeted to the South Asian market. He's the publisher, and we printed for him, and we've sort of become the mentors. One of the um, uh, tasks that I've taken on over the past two or three months is, in addition to representing these publishers, I, I want them to work with me in raising the bar, because we've always had to be twice as good to be recognized, even though we recognize today that we are simply twice as good. So we just want to make sure that we maintain that that sort of standard. You might notice there are papers in the front page. It's very clear that we preserve the front page of the publisher that goes on for news of the day. Well, traditionally, agricultural papers will have a lot of ads on the front page because they're a bit at the mercy of their own community. And this is changing slowly, slowly. They're providing content and slides so that they can accommodate these advertisers and so on. This part right here, this was the first year where we worked with on the very place. We did a program for them it's, uh, where we reported the product and wrapped all of our products. We received a letter from them saying that this was the best year that ever had. I, I saw that in the Did you see that? Yeah. that was this, the, uh, this rap uh, concept, I've just noticed uh, over the last month or so, the star doing this. Well, thing. I was just going to get to that. The first company to do that was us. Really? We did it with the Toronto FC. Within a month, uh, the Toronto Star did it with Rogers, and what they do is they do this. That's right. So we were the first publisher in the country to start this concept. No publisher in the world would ever take a chance of covering their front page. We took a chance. And it worked. Functions that uh, we attend. These are some of the language papers here. So this would be the so Korean the, Central the, Daily. Is, is this the kind of thing that uh, you attend? publish and then you take it back mm -hmm. and actually distribute it for yeah. people before they leave? Yes. If that's what the customers yeah. want. Some people love to see themselves in pictures, don't yeah. they? We're currently working yeah. Especially with if it's on the front page. We're currently working with well, Women's like College. <laughs> we're working with Women's College. We're working with Variety Village. We're working with a number of uh, not-for-profit organizations that are reaching out to us. Women's College, for example, we have And over the past two or three years, and they're sponsored by Jim over the past three years, their membership has dropped dramatically. And they realize that the reason that's happening is because they, well, they're not reaching out to 55% of the Toronto population that's not in the language, not in French. And that these people, they do speak English, but they don't read through a Toronto Star or um, a Golden Mail that has 20 sections. There's nothing in there that's relevant, and they can get their news from their own country through uh, different channels. They can get community news in their own language and their own language. It's then newspapers are very popular. international news, national news, community news. Um, so there's no need to uh, make up. When you do pick up a mainstream media paper, we have a tendency to look at the front page, and then if there's nothing of interest to us, we tend to go to one other section at the detriment of all the other sections and at the detriment of all those advertisers that have run ads and that they feel never get to see. These products are what we want to cover, and we continue to increase the number. But by virtue of the composition of some of our multicultural households, one would assume that our, circulate, our readership is much higher. So 600,000 with our products and almost 300,000 copies with our third-party publisher. One by December, which means we will have surpassed all four daily English papers distribution by December of 2007. Um, and all work in Ontario. Did you print this as well? Canadian printer? Well, the reason it's on the table is because Canadian printer is very selective in terms of who they write about. And they have to recognize you as a powerful media or a powerful uh, segment of the print. Yeah, the obvious. And they Pope John Paul II. But as my bill actually states, look to him as a humanitarian uh, and as someone who reached out to all religions and as someone who, quite frankly, uh, was a spiritual leader, not strictly a denominational leader. Uh, I find, uh, as I speak with various faith leaders, that there is a common understanding of that and respect 
uh, for Pope John Paul II. And that's why I believe that we'll have, uh, I think, a, a demonstration uh, of acceptance and a demonstration of our inclusion as uh, a multicultural society. This will be, I believe, a, a very important demonstration. And then let's so get we'll take one with uh, Mr. Please and Mrs. Zabaton, okay. and then I'll join in. And then the third one will be some of my volunteers, uh, a short yes. three pictures. Okay. All right. okay. Sounds good. And the torch, excuse me. Well, hey, you guys, uh, watch Andrew, this. you're going to get Lori. your camera, right? Watch the, I you know what I mean? You guys can have the, you want us to have, keep well, the we can't have the torch mm -hmm. without you. Well, I will be there. Hold it up I'll high because uh, oh, you don't want to. I just need you. Yep. And then I'll come in. Once they get that picture. Okay. Nice shot. Rory, don't you ever smile. <laughs> Just worried about the talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, George. Okay. Join the crowd here. Here we go. Hold it up. Here we go. All right. You okay, Lord? Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Crystal. Crystal. Okay. Last right. one. Uh, Nick and Billy. Two little volunteers. Step by step. Get, you, get your hand on the torch. Guys. Get your hand on the torch. That's it. Can I All stay right. like this? Really, I think you should just. This is the man behind the camera. He's our new uh, arrival to the organization. And your name is? Andrew. My this. name is Andrew Lewis. It's my pleasure to help you guys and uh, be part of this crazy project. I call it crazy project a uh, nice project. And this is the man who's going to be with George on the campaign. He's been another angel sent from the Lord to help out over here. And we're at Multimedia Corporation right now. So that's him, you're going to be seeing a lot of him.